Welcome to the course Descriptive Statistics with R Software. In this small video, I am just going to show you that how I am going to teach and how you should follow the lecture. Why? Because you see, this course is uh, based on theory and the use of software. Suppose you are sitting in my class and you are uh, operating on the software. And in case if you have any problem, I can always come to your computer and uh, solve the problem. But now, uh, I have to do each and everything on the slides and uh, computer. So, this is very important that uh, you should understand that how you have to study this course and it is important for me to explain you the, the way I am going to teach it so that both of us are comfortable once the course starts. So, you will see that I have prepared the slides and these slides will be available on the website of the course. So, you can download the PDF files of those slides and uh, that will help you in copying and pasting the commands on the R software. Although I do not uh, recommend it much, but I always say that please try to type the commands yourself on the R software so that you will learn more. But sometime once you have learned and then in order to save some time, you can always copy and paste the commands. And now I will show you that I have got here a special type of pen. You can see here and with this pen, I can write on the screen of my computer. So, while I will be using my slides, I also have an option to write on the computer screen so that uh, the slides become more interactive. So, now I will show you that how I am going to use the slide and how I will write on the, the screen of the computer. Now, you see, these are my slides here. This will be my title slide and after this, you can see here that I can move forward and backward in these slides. And you have to understand what are the interpretation and meanings of those uh, codings. For example, you can see here, I have here an option if you try to observe on the left corner, I can choose here different types of colors by which I can write. So, you can see here, I can write here like this. Suppose, I want to write my name, this is S H E L E B H and so on. And suppose, if I want to change the color of my pen, then I can again write the same thing in a different color. Right. So, you now understand that how I am writing. Now, after this, there will be main heading in red color. So, the main heading I will be using, they will be typed in red color. After this, there will be a blue color courier new font and the text which is typed in this way, this is going to indicate that this is the command of our software. And wherever I will be using the black color Calibri font, this means this is simple text. So, blue color means these are the commands which have to be used on the R console or they are the outcome of the R console. And whereas, black color will simply indicate that this is simple text. For example, if you try to look here, now you always have to keep an eye on my pen when I am on the screen. So, you can see here, I am once again making here a line and you can see the place where you have to concentrate like this or even I can write down like this that please try to concentrate here. Now, you see I am writing here a statement in black color calibri font and it is saying a statement the assignment operator is the equal sign and after this I am uh, typing the equality sign in blue color. So, this means this is the R command. Now, in the next line here, 
I am writing x equal to 40 assigns the value 40 to x. This means this blue color part, this is the part of the R software command. And this black color phone, this is my here simply text. And this is my here R command. So, this is how I am going to do it. Now, you will see here that I will be writing something like this, where I will be using here a symbol greater than. Greater than is actually the prompt of our software. So, when I write something starting with the prompt sign, this means this is the outcome of of our software, right. And if you try to see here something number like 1 or something like this, this means this is the part here which I am highlighting in blue color, this I have simply copied and pasted from the R software. And I will be using uh, different type of mathematical expressions, they will be looking like this for example, you can see here, right. And uh, after this what I will do that uh, suppose I want to do some operation on the R software. So, suppose I have written here two contacts, one syntax is y is equal to x star 3, this is in blue color font. This means you have to type the y equal to x star 3 on the R software. And then I am writing this means assign the value x star 3 to y, this means I am trying to indicate that what is the meaning of this command. And after this I am writing z is equal to y minus x, this means here that the value of y minus x is assigned to z, this is the meaning of this statement. Once I have typed a command or a syntax on the slide, my next objective will be I would like to show you that how to execute it on the R software. So, now I will be doing this thing in two steps, first I will copy those commands or I will type those commands on the R software and I will show you the outcome. And after this whatever is the outcome of the syntax on the R software, I would try to show you there. For that what I will do that I will take a screenshot of the uh, of all the operations on the R software and I will paste it on the slide. So, if you try to see here, uh, I have given you here these two contacts. Now, I try to execute them on R software. So, now you can see here this is indicated by this prompt sign that is greater than sign. Now, I am typing the same command here y equal to x into 3 and which is here like this. And after this I press enter and then after this I try to see the value of y for that I enter and I get here the value of 120. So, this operation which I am highlighting now in say orange color, this is indicating that first I try to assign the value of x into 3 to y which I have done here and then I am trying to find out what is the value of y which is here and this is the numerical value of y which has been obtained as an outcome of this operation. Similarly, in case if I try to now operate the second command which is here z is equal to y minus x. So, I will be using here z is equal to y minus x on the R software and then I will press here enter and then I will show you here the value by typing z and then enter and this value comes out to be 80, right. Now, the same operation I have done it on the R console and the screenshot of that part is given here like this. Now, I will try to do the same operation on the R software and I will show you that how the things are happening and how this screenshot came into existence, right. So, I am now coming on the R software, this is the R console. So, first of all here I am trying to assign a value 40 to a variable x. So, you can see here as soon as I enter, 
I come on the next line and now I want to see the value of x. So, I type x and say press enter key on the keyboard. So, this gives me the value of x as 40. Now, I am trying to define here new variable say y is equal to x into 3 and I press enter. Now, after this I want to see the value of y. So, I type y and I press enter and this gives me the value of 120. Now, I try to define here another variable say here z which is equal to say here y minus x and now the value of y minus x is stored in z and now I type z and say press enter. So, I get the value of here 80 right and you can see here that the screenshot of this outcome is given here. Okay, so, uh, this is how I am going to handle this course and this is how I will be presenting my lecture. So, now I stop here and we will see when the course starts. Till then, goodbye.